Hey guys, and welcome back to Factorio, sending supporters to space. And I'm very happy last time uh, we did the smelters and I showed off the switcheroo and you guys seemed to really like it. Uh, the feedback was pretty good. There were a few questions about how exactly it would work in some cases and such. And I tried my best to explain it and when I replied to comments, but it's a little hard to explain in text. So once we turn it on, I think you'll have a better idea of how it's going to work. Uh, but today we have two objectives and I'm not sure if we're going to complete all of them. We're definitely going to complete the first one. Uh, and that is building out some more power. And the reason I'm showing this on camera is because I want to show off the advanced uh, nuclear stuff from the mod Hopewell made. Excuse me. And uh, the reason I'm transitioning to these is a couple things. Number one is that we're going to need a ton of power. Once we turn on these smelters, we're going to need a ton of power. And uh, we could just continue with the normal nuclear, uh, and it's not really like a lag problem yet or anything. But the issue is right that these do not um, these do not tran like convert into each other, right? So like all the normal reactors I have now are just going to be useless because they're not used to making these. I could ask Hopewell to do that. Um, it wouldn't really be very difficult at all, but um, I didn't want to wait and I didn't want to bother him for that because um, he's already doing other stuff for me, but. Uh, yeah, so I didn't want to continue with normal nuclear because all these normal parts are no longer going to be used, like, they're just going to be useless. Um, and then I figured why not transition to the advanced stuff because we're going to need more power anyways. So what I've done is I've set up automation for the advanced nuclear reactors. We have four of them built up, which is what I've stopped it at. These things, um, do keep in mind, I've set them to be four times as powerful as, um, the normal ones. Of course, they do cost four times materials, so it's not really that cheaty. Um, and then we've built up some advanced heat exchangers, some advanced, uh, steam turbines and then advanced heat pipe over here. I pretty much just exchanged the normal ones, um, for the advanced ones, like in the machines. Um, and the cool thing about this is Hope made it, um, upon my request that all the ratios remain the same. So even though these are all four times as powerful, um, it's going to be the same ratios, like one reactor can support four exchangers can support X amount of turbines as as it were with the, the normal ones, right? So the only difference is though that these do consume four times the fuel. They consume fuel at four times the rate um, to try to keep it balanced, um, which normally the fuel cells are consumed one every 200 seconds. With the advanced ones, it would be one every 50 seconds, um, which is really quite fast. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go place these. I'm going to turn these inserters because I do not want them... Um, placing anything else at the moment this uh, you'll see once I start explaining and building it um this is actually a little bit insane how much power this will produce and it may seem OP at first but like I said it's not they cost four times as much to make they consume four times the amount of fuel and they produce four times the amount of power so essentially all this is doing is condensing your power into a smaller space um it's it's like it would be you know the equivalent of of four times the power in these except that it's not four times the size right which means that it it's not even a space thing it's more of a performance thing that that's less pipes i need that's less turbines i need that's less heat exchangers i need um the material cost is still the same but it's less entities less things to calculate meaning better performance so we're going to take these and then we're going to uh take all this all these and all of these and hopefully that'll be enough and that's our first objective the next objective if we have time is to start building the smelter i moved it around a little bit and cleaned it up i grabbed a better blueprint without those weird testing things on the end um and lined it up a bit better because someone had mentioned in the comments am i going to be able to fit a 3103 in the first like waiting area and i looked and i actually wouldn't have been able to the way i placed it so i did move it um a bit so that's we need some pipe Let's grab some pipe. I was almost prepared. Um, so that's kind of what I did. You, you won't really notice the difference. I moved it out like 10 tiles. <laughs> Pretty much did a kernel wheel. Um, so that's the other thing. Hopefully we can at least get started on building that today. Um, but I did want to do the power for you uh, on camera here just because I want to demonstrate um, like how much power these can generate just so that, you know, if I did it off camera, I could explain it, but you guys may be like, um, wondering why I randomly have four times the power, even though I don't have that big of a setup. Um, 
an interesting with thing with this is it actually expand like it actually multiplies more than than you would think initially um i was thinking about it and i'll show you uh, we need to find somewhere to put it i'm walking over here because this is kind of where our fuel generation is but we actually don't really have any space i may need to like build it over here um having the fuel cells transported that far via bot is not ideal especially since it's kind of the main network and expanding it out that far would be uh well less than ideal to say the least um so i'm not sure i th think we uh i think we will have to do this though because there's really not room in that other area and this has a very very nice flat shoreline right here for us pretty much so i'm just going to uh actually screw this i'm nuking everything <laughs> i only have one nuke so i better make it count No, oh, that actually helped a fair bit. Now I can just easily clear these out and let me stick my robot ports back in. Um, but yeah, so this actually kind of um, multiplies out even more than you think because the power is four times the amount, right? But that's without the neighbor bonus. So <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. Um, and again, I don't think it's overpowered because it's four times the cost and like, I mean, the neighbor bonus applies even with the normal reactors, which makes them really good. Even even vanilla reactors, right? You can have one reactor that can be up to four or five um, times is good, right? Almost equivalent, pretty much equivalent to four or five reactors. The same thing happens here, except that these are already four times as powerful. Um, so it gets a little bit insane, um, which is fine with me because we need a ton of power. <laughs> we need a ton of power. Um, so I'm trying to think here how to place this um if we want it's almost i think it'd actually be better to build this backwards believe it or not um because over here i have the reactors close to the water and it makes the pipe routing a massive pain um but we can build it backwards right and this would actually make the fuel cells um easier like closer to transport so if we just place this like i'm gonna place it far enough down so i have enough room to build um Let's just go here. We're gonna do this because then we can expand it to the right fairly easily if we need to, and you'll see why it's insane in a second. Um, and then we just continue this out and it would expand just like the other one, right? So here, <clears throat> excuse me, here's the deal though, right? So these each are gonna get a 300% neighbor bonus just like the other ones we have set up and actually doing it. Um, it this is a little bit odd, like how we have to do this with the requesters and stuff, expanding it um, like that. Because it's going to like kind of negate where we can put some heat pipes. Not too bad though. Um, so these get 300% neighbor bonus like the other ones once I actually uh, give them fuel, which I'm not going to do yet because they do consume it pretty quick. But uh, right, because they're like, let's take this one for example, he has this bonus and this bonus. Um, so it's actually at 200%. Sorry, my bad. Um, how do these have 300%? Oh, no, it's only these ones in the middle. So these doing it in a 4-4 layout like this is only going to give 200 it this time. Once I add two more, it'll be 300 on these middle ones. But even with just 200%, this is effectively counting as three reactors, right? Because it has itself and then the 200% bonus. So this is counting as three reactors, but keep in mind that these are already four times as powerful as the normal ones. So this one reactor alone is essentially equal to 12 normal vanilla reactors, right? Because it's four times as powerful and then it's counting as four or as three of itself, right? So three times four is 12. So this one reactor, each one of these reactors is counting as 12 of these, which means that um, even one of them is actually more than we have here. We only have eight. Um, so this is actually equivalent to 48 um, vanilla reactors, which again, may seem overpowered. I don't think it is because it's just condensing down the space and conserving performance. Um, you know, it's still gonna consume as much fuel as 48 reactors and it costs as many materials as 48 equivalent reactors would cost of the others because you could get 48 equivalent reactors with less than that because of the neighbor bonus. So, gonna do that. Um, and then these guys, we have our 
heat exchangers. Again, each one of these or each equivalent reactor can support 12 heat exchangers of these guys. So each one of these is equivalent to three um, of, of, of this type of reactor. So that's going to be 12 heat exchangers. Now, hopefully these don't consume four times as much water. I'm not actually sure about that. If that's the case, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> You're going to be in a lot of trouble if that's the case. Um, I may actually place that a little too far away. The pipe distance for that may be slightly too much. So let's just blueprint this. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Thank you, game. Okay, let's uh, let's bring this a little bit closer. In fact, it may actually be better to build backwards. Sometimes it is build better to build backwards. If we take our pumps and we just go like, I have a ton of landfill, but that would require me walking back. Um, so if I just take like these two, let's say two pumps per set. Um, so 12, uh, steam goes out that way. So if we kind of center him on here and we want a short pipe distance, one, two, three, something, I can't count. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Um, and then we will do the same thing we did initially is just stick them out the side like this. It makes the layout, I think, easier. And it, again, conserves pipe and it's just better, in my opinion, uh, at least for smaller setups maybe bigger setups it's good because of the pipe conservation but uh but yeah so gonna do that and then these guys are going to connect and we may or may not need uh, an actual small pump or just what's what's called a normal pump now here and um, we'll have to see if that's enough if these do consume four times the water we're going to be in some trouble which i mean really i guess if it were kept in balance they would but even i mean i don't know that would be pretty ridiculous if I don't know. Um, so these guys, let's see. So if he lines up, if that's the inside ones, just bring these out a little bit. Um, now I'm not sure if I'm going to need double heat pipes. Uh, the distance, I always forget the distance. I want to say it's like 30 or something. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. This was a measuring rail. Let's go ahead and just quickly, it was like 35 or 39. That may be pushing it. I feel like that's really, really pushing it. Um, I'd like maybe a double heat pipe and I could do this on the other side. I don't know. I'll have to see if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll just go build the smelter and I'll do it off camera because I don't want to spend all episode on this. Um, We'll see if it works. It may not. Um, if need be, I could bring the heat pipes around like that just for a little bit more. Um, but we'll see. So this alone is going to generate a ton of power. I didn't do the math, but we can after I finish building it here. Um, so I just heard my steam go off. It's been a long time since I've heard that. Sorry about that. I, uh, <laughs> I've not heard my steam go off um, in, a, in a very long time. All right. So these guys are going to be a bit different um unfortunately the water might be a slight issue we'll have to see this may need a pump um due to this i'm not entirely sure uh, okay so then we got that and uh, now we just can do some of this absolutely perfect and this alone should generate a metric ton of power. <laughs> um, each one of these guys does 23 megawatts. So, I mean, if we just, I mean, we have 12, we have, what, 24. They're not going to work fully. If we just do the 1.7 as normal. So we have 12, 24, so 24 times 1.7. So we have, it can support about 40 turbines. So 40 times 23, this alone is almost a gigawatt of power. Um, and this is actually not, this is not even a full setup. Um, this is only half this reactor capacity, right? Because I said that one of these could support 12 um, and we have four. So these, this could actually support another set of this, which would be like 1.8 gigawatts of power. 
around uh, out about ish <laughs> ish uh, okay so i'm gonna request and i'm gonna make these requests a little bit higher then, well, 10 should be okay. I mean, it's every 50 seconds. It's not that far away. My real concern is um, if we're actually... <laughs> I should actually make these active providers too, I think. Uh, my real concern is if we're actually going to be able to create this much fuel. Um, we do have some pretty fast processing in, uh, or like uh, just normal processing, but actually making the fuel itself, I may need to increase the speed at which I do that uh just just because uh, uh you know it may not be fast enough so what we're gonna do is do this you know kind of iffy but whatever so we're gonna do that um i'm gonna actually connect this up to the network first so it can get some fuel um because i want uh geez it's not what i wanted <laughs> for some reason i thought these worked like power poles um I want it to kind of like get going right before I hook power to it. I find that, as I mentioned before, I find that there can potentially be some issues if you like put a power drain on it before it's actually done um, kind of winding up, if, if, if you will. So I'm just going to do something like that. Oh, as I say, don't connect it, you idiot. Um, this is going to need a tiny bit. Of power and oh, these all did get inserted okay so these will heat up at some rate so that's that uh, so now for the smelter uh, let's go collect some materials I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna let that thing kind of just heat up and do its thing and thanks for uh, taking all my wood we have like so much wood in here I just need to burn it all actually I've been uh, I've actually just been putting it in chests and shooting it lately when I've been like working off camera. I just haven't even bothered bringing it back to base, but even so, accumulate a ton of trees. Alright, so I have, I have my attack helicopter here because we need to fill it with some stuff. And let's go ahead and let's see, it has some track, I believe. We are going to need the track. We're actually going to need even more track than that. Uh, let's just grab some track. Probably gonna need even well, definitely gonna need even more than that. Uh, let's see, we need boxes, inserters, smelter things, eh, smelter things. Um, they would be called electric engines, engines, furnaces, and uh, then beacons and inserters and roboports. I don't think I quite have enough roboports. I do have um, quite a few. I set this to a thousand. We only need seven hundred and some odd amount. So I'm just gonna bring, I guess, however much will fit my inventory. Uh, we also have a ton of modules built up. I've kind of just left the game open <laughs> the entire day. Uh, and this is stopped for some unknown reason. Well, we have 8,000 productivity and it stopped on those on purpose because I set the inserters to that. Not sure why it stopped on the speeds. Uh, I don't recall capping those. Unless the boxes are just full, but... Are these boxes really full? Well then. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of modules. We we need more speed than that though, so I'll need to I guess add more boxes or transfer some around or something. Uh, let's dump that in there and then grab some beacons. I guess he's still making beacons. This poor guy has been making beacons for like six hours. I'm actually really I'm really happy. I'm really proud of this starter base. It has done a phenomenal job. Um, keeping up with all I've told it to make lately. I mean, like, seriously, I mean, a, th a thousand le electric furnaces. I set it to, like, 1,500 beacons or something. Um, yeah, all these advanced nuclear parts, and I've, like, done, like, three, uh, one and a half stacks of stack inserted, which this, <laughs> this is really going to drain our materials. I can promise you that. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's done a very, very good job keeping up. It Probably won't for long because the resource patches it's running on are running low and uh, I just put a whole more requests on it, but that's fine uh, We're going to take off here and go get down a little bit We won't be able to finish building it because this episode is probably already around 20 minutes I think we'll go for 30 minutes. We did that last time. It wasn't too bad. Actually since I'm in a helicopter God, I love this sound Okay, 
Um, I'm gonna go over here and just get these modules working again. It's kind of a waste to not have them going. Stop. Sweet. Thanks for landing for me. Uh, so... The reason I capped the productivities is because I wanted everything to go to speed. Apparently not knowing that these chests are entirely full. Oh, this is ridiculous, man. When you start doing multiple chest chains for, uh... Oh, for speed modules. Speed module threes, no less. Uh, okay, so apparently my inventory is full of crap. Let's get rid of the wood. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. And what I'd like to do... Thanks, game. What I'd like to do is... What the hell? One, two... Oh, we can't actually do this. I thought we couldn't do that, but it will actually work. So speeds will just crank along. Because we actually need more of those than we do productivity. 8,000 productivity will actually get us quite a long way. And I'm guessing I have no lasers. Could make a laser turret. I could also just make a gun turret, which at this point may do better. And my helicopter was over here. So let's hop in. Alright, floor it. Ouch. What the hell did I hit, dude? There was nothing. Was there a rock there? Yeah, the collision on this is a little bit wonky. And I've also noticed, <laughs> when you look on the map, it's like three players, and one of them is like whirling around for the propellers. It's kind of interesting how they did this. I'm not sure what the hell I actually hit. Maybe I wasn't fully taken off yet. Kind of scraped the underside. This makes it so much easier to get around, though. Like, holy hell. This is so much faster than running. Oh, dear lord. No! It's not what I wanted! Wow. You idiots. It's not what I wanted, you jerks! Alright, well, I'll just let them build whatever they want to build in this area. <laughs> and then I'll take off my roboports, I'll switch out my exosuit. So I'll just let them build everything they can. And the reason I'm picking them up is because this is actually a little bit of a workaround for the charging. Is if you pick them up, they get a full charge. Which, um... Look at this. Look at this construction range on this. It's like six Mark II ports. Um, yeah. So it, when you pick them up, they get a full charge and then they can, like, leave again instantly and do stuff. So that's kind of why I do that. It's all not kind of, that's exactly why I do that. It's a little bit cheaty maybe, but it does speed up the process. Although, at some point, I think I'm actually picking up ones that are leaving. Because ones coming back to me for charging shouldn't be carrying anything, I don't think. Except for some of these dudes who got left behind. Okay, so yeah, these are the lanes for the uh, iron, the uh, iron plate trains, and these signals. I'm I'm not actually sure what the hell happened here. I'm not really sure why there's double signaling there. Like I said, it needs a little cleaning up, right? It's not actually done. What are you doing? What are you doing, guys? You know you can kill these trees, right? Uh, wow. Okay. Um, clear the trees, maybe. Should have done that when I blueprinted it. It's a little bit odd. I shift clicked it, clicked it. It should have auto deconstructed or auto marked the trees to be deconstructed. Should it not? Ah, crap. Inventory's about to fill up again. This ring of robots is always quite entertaining. All right, time to uh, dump all my crap. I'll just wait for him to clear all the trees again so I don't waste boxes. Could make a wooden box, but it doesn't hold hardly anything. And I'm out of rails. That's fine. Come on, dude, keep up. <laughs> That's a random rail for you to place. Alright. Yeah, sure, I don't know what, what I have that you can use, but sure, place stuff. So yeah, I've moved this uh, a bit up from here. I moved... Um, this obviously still connects, but I moved it up a bit so there's room for 3103 between this station, uh, well, between here and the actual, like, uh, first smelter. 
And then I cut off the weird stuff at the top, like I said, so it doesn't intersect with the track and it's just a lot cleaner. Um, I'm gonna let the, I guess I'm just gonna let these guys do, do their thing. Let's just clear all the trees. I mean, they're ugly, they're in the way, they're gonna have to go. This almost does, <laughs> does make me want like the explosives termite mod. Um, Alright, yeah, so this is what the rails up here look like. Um, these signals are broken for some reason. I'm actually not sure why. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes, like, when you blueprint, it doesn't actually place the rail on the track. You notice that those were, like, it looked like they were right next to it, but they weren't actually uh, connected. It was, it's a little weird when that happens, and I'm not sure if this double signaling is intended. Like I said, again, it needs cleaning up. Um, so what we're gonna do is find our wood chest, dump all the wood in there, and then shoot it, or not, because I don't, <laughs> I have no ammo. All right, well, great, let's, uh, make some ammo then. Uh, do I have a, can, can I make, I gave all my ammo to that turret. Oh, there should be ammo in the helicopter. Yeah, there we go. Screw that ammo. Let's, let's use this. Where, where are you going? Oh, they're going down there. All right, that's fine. Let's uh, pick up some more rail. I'm gonna need another box. I'm going to, I really wish, I really, really, one of the features I want the most right now is the ability to toggle on and off your trash slots. Like, just with a button or a slider even. Let's uh, stick some of those back in there. Let's get some signaling too. Just so they can complete their mission here. So yeah, this sh um, should look a lot better and be a bit easier to understand once it's actually placed. I don't know, why did it not mark these trees? It marked these trees. That's kind of odd. I I'm not really sure why it didn't. Come on, dudes. Get with it. Even with a build suit, I mean, this goes pretty fast. It's the charging that really gets you. And again, well, I'm about full up. And of course, of course they're all waiting to place rails so there's none to clear the trees. I really should just go pre-clear the trees instead of moving forward and having this happen again. Oh, jeez. Come on, guys. Alright. Well, actually, those guys are gonna, like, sit over there waiting. So we might as well just go clear all the trees. Some fire may, may be good. Oh no, you poor robots. Alright, so yeah, this is kind of what it would look like, and this, again, keep, <laughs> keep in mind this is half of it, so there would be this, again, uh, directly to the right of it. Man, this charging, like, if, if a RoboPort can support, if these personal RoboPorts can support 25 robots, you'd think they would be able, well, never mind, that, that wouldn't make sense. I was gonna say, you'd think they would be able to actually charge 25 robots faster, but I guess it's no different than a normal RoboPort. You know, even a normal roll port only has four charging areas. I don't know, do these have like separate charging pads? Robo limit charging stations four. Does this so does this mean that I mean theoretically I should have like twenty four charging stations, right? But well no, I guess they are. They just I don't have any power now, that's the problem. Come on, dudes. So even when, like when you run out of power, this is kind of when this comes in handy. Is doing this kind of just charges them <laughs> instantly, even if you have no power. I need some more Mark II batteries. I think is what I need. And again, I have to turn off. I have to clear my trash thing and then reprogram it. I wonder if there's a mod that can turn this on and off easier.
There we go. We're kind of getting out of the forest. It's not too bad now. Sweet. God, you idiots. All right, so this is uh, this is making progress, and then I didn't obviously bring any all the stuff that wow, all the stuff that um the smelters need. I couldn't fit all of it in the helicopter, but that's okay. Oh dear, guess we need another dump chest. <laughs> Just call it a dump chest from now on, I guess. It is nice though that they have. Just a filter for trees and rocks only. That makes it a lot easier. If you're not going to clear the rock, I'll do it. Alright, sweet. So, I think that may do it here. Like I said, we wouldn't be... We wouldn't um, finish this in this episode anyway. But I did kind of want to get started on it. And I did want to show you the power thing. We are making progress. That power will be... Um, quite helpful for us and then this uh, I'll have this built by next episode for sure we got most of the track of it done actually except for this left side and then the smelters should be fairly straightforward again it's, they're, they're identical they're literally just the smelter we use in the module thing um, just six of them and you can imagine how much power we're gonna need because that smelter thing alone uses about 320 megawatts I think and there's six of those here, well, so far, there's actually going to be 12 just for the iron plate, not counting what we need for steel and copper and stuff. Um, but even six of those, I mean, six times three is 18. <laughs> That's uh, almost two gigawatts right there. Hence my uh, need for the four times nuclear thing. And no, I'm not doing solar. Nope. The amount of solar needed would be absolutely insane. Like, it just would be dumb. And I don't feel like painting my entire map in solar panels be and that's what it would be that is literally what it would be is just like mark off this entire right half of the map for solar <laughs> pretty much for the amount of solar we would need uh now one other option i do want to go over uh just before i end this episode and i'd like your thoughts on this because this is something that has been discussed amongst um some people in my channel and such for this series is even with the four times nuclear thing, if it gets to be too much in terms of like uh, game performance, if even that becomes too much, uh, what some people do is they actually have, like they make all the stuff for an equivalent nuclear setup. So say I needed 15 gigawatts, right? One option to avoid UPS issues, but, but still, um, you know, not be too, too cheaty, is what some people will do is build 15 gigawatts, for this example, worth of um, nuclear parts and stick them in a box and then have actual processing for producing fuel um, to fuel an equivalent of, of a 15 gigawatt setup and then just have that go into storage um, and then just use a cheaty power source that just generates infinite power. Um, I'd like your thoughts on that. I don't know if it will come to that. I hope it doesn't because I'd like a legitimate nuclear thing, but it may get too out of hand. Um, and I feel like that's not too cheaty because even though you're not actually using the nuclear and using um, an infinite power source for the power, you've built all the materials that you would need for that and you're consuming or making fuel equivalent to what you would need for that. So it's essentially just like having power just not on the map i don't know it's kind of weird it's kind of weird to think about but uh, we'll see what things come to because i mean when you think that this alone half of this is going to use about 1.8 almost two gigawatts that's half of the iron smelter you then add on the copper smelter you add on the steel smelter um the brick is negligible it's one smelter um and then you add on all the processing facilities um for everything else for the science and rockets and it will easily probably be a 15 20 gigawatt factory and even with the four times nuclear mod i'm not sure if we can sacrifice the performance for that uh we'll have to see 
Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We got the nuclear setup. I'll turn it on next episode. It should be all heated up and good to go. Um, so they actually get to a higher temperature. And they've run out of fuel. Go figure. Um, it's probably safe to actually plug it in, though. And actually, I probably if I have a power pole in the network, I probably could. We do have construction bots here. I may actually be able to do that. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.